everyone, Alpha Soul here and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about specifically Ashes of Creation and the Alpha that is coming up. What I've seen within the community, not just within the Ashes of Creation community, but within the gaming community at large, is there generally seems to be a misunderstanding of what Alpha is versus Beta versus, uh, you know, release and everything like that. I think with the more recent, I guess you could say within more recent history, uh, if you will, a lot of companies have kind of treated these things differently uh, as opposed to what their original function was, especially a lot of, uh, I want to say like rehashes coming from the Eastern market of MMOs specifically. And so people in general have a very different expectation of what to expect when going into an alpha or a beta. So this video is to really clear that up. The second purpose of this video really is to kind of form a plea of what we can do in order to kind of help along this process and what to expect of the Ashes Creation community. One of the tenets and one of the slogans of Ashes of Creation is to make MMOs great again. And I genuinely believe in order to do that, people all need to kind of come together and fulfill the purpose of these testing periods in order to make uh, the MMO great again, in order to make Good MMOs. I firmly believe that in a lot of multiplayer games specifically, you need the input of your community, you need the input of people who are testing games in order to successfully make a game that will last a long time, realize you a lot of revenue, and all that good stuff. So that's really the purpose of this. So what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to explain what an alpha is, what a beta is, and then go on to kind of list the points that I think what we can do to focus in and make this kind of whole experience better. Now, before I get started, I'm just going to kind of let you guys know and let people know who don't really know me what, why I am doing this video and why I think I'm qualified to do this video. Now, in my personal life, I, you know, as a career, I am a product manager and I have been for uh, close to actually at this point, like nine years now plus. Uh, and what a product manager is and what I specifically do is um, I essentially manage the process of creating a product from the ground up uh, until, you know, release and then far after release. And then in cases, you know, the sunsetting or, you know, decommissioning of existing products and, you know, bringing entire ones online. Now, I'm a technical product manager. I focus a lot on enterprise products, large scale systems and things of that nature. And, and you know, I'm a senior in that role and I love doing what I do. And I've done it for, uh, you know, Again, uh, almost a decade now at this point. Now, the other common thing, uh, you know, to know, you know, about myself at least, is I have also been alpha testing and beta testing games since the 90s, the mid 90s or so. Uh, so I've been doing this for quite a long time, and I've had the fortune of doing this for many of the games that you play, at least within uh, the MMO realm, for quite a while. You know, um, Ultima Online, EverQuest. Um, World of Warcraft, I was part of that. I was part of, uh, what I mean, at this point there's so many Dark Ages of Camelot, I can almost list, it's almost more difficult for me to figure out an MMO that I haven't been part of at least the beta or the alpha for. Now, with that said, the two ties, at least between my personal career and the gaming career, are not very close, but the process of creating a product is still very similar between all of them. So I feel that I'm in a good position to let you guys know how things work, what to expect, and things of that nature. All right. So let's just get started with alphas, right? What is an alpha, right? Alpha, an alpha test is the test that is, that is situated in order to, um, Actually, let me reset this in terms of what alpha is. I was going to go down one route that may become a little bit more complicated. Now, I'm going to list off some of the purposes of an alpha test. The purpose of an alpha test, one, is to integrate your systems within the game, right? And those systems can be very many little different things that are there, right? So when you look at Ashes of Creation, an example of system may be the chatbot, matchmaking systems, uh, the node system, character creation, character customization, um, you know, monster creation, monster customization, world creation, uh, the way that nodes and worlds tie together, the server pass off and the server handoff, logins, the website. There are so many different pieces that come into when you snap together, create an MMO. And integrating those systems together is the job and what should be done within the alpha. Now, generally speaking, systems change um, wholesale within the alpha, right? The alpha is the time for a company to realize, okay, 
this system as we planned it and as we integrated it does not work. So we need to either rip it out and completely change it, do some changes and things uh, that will make things different. You could scrap entire systems in an alpha and you can bring up entire new ones in an alpha. That is commonplace and that happens all willy nilly. Now, within an, a, a good example of this that you know kind of caught a bunch of people from surprise and they were complaining about it, which to me, I was like, I'm not sure why you're complaining it's an alpha, is think of New World, for example. You know, they famously had their alpha, they went through and they made some drastic changes to the PVP. That is not strange within it. Uh, and you can kind of see, which brings me to my next point. Alphas are typically internal, right? You generally have that before you get give the public access to those servers, alphas are generally internal, right? And so what the, that allows the developers to go through and make their changes that they need without suffering from any backlash uh, from, you know, people who have tasted your, or, you know, who, who have got a taste of your game for that matter, or who have worked with your game, right? You start, you know, when they start to interact with your game, certain expectations may go up. And um, that's one of the reasons why, you know, Traditionally, alphas have been internal. Now, as of more recently, alphas have been becoming more, I guess you could say, uh, based on access and you know, based on uh, what is what does it say, like reward tiers and things of that nature. Some companies do give access to their alphas and let users be a part of that alpha testing because it does make things easier when you're allowed to test out some vital systems that you know will be there down the line and you get you have a bunch of users from different locations around the world able to hit and you're able to gather that data so that is a valid use case for people getting access to the alpha now you run the risk on the other hand as a company you do that of you know the negative backlash if you do change those systems or people may come into the game not understanding what an alpha is and come away with a negative impression of the game now i saw steven within the most recent live stream try and mitigate some of this saying hey this is an alpha it's a true alpha i still think that people will won't really get it but this is what it is right now uh, within <clears throat> The other characteristic of an alpha is critical issues are generally addressed here. If you want to think about what gets fixed and what gets worked on within an alpha, it's generally critical or major issues within the system. Polish isn't really a concern within alpha just because, uh, or at least in, at the majority of the alpha. At the end of the alpha, you might start working on polish, but you're really working on the functionality of the game itself, and you can gussy it up and make it pretty as time goes on and you go into the betas for that matter, uh, or transition between the alpha and the beta. But alpha is really about getting that functionality down, right? Um, and then again, you start working on some polish towards the end of alpha. Uh, and then the other major point that's worked on is performance, right? Uh, system performance, so how well does the client work on somebody's machine across different machines? How, work the, how well does the networking? All of that is within alpha and is, is done within alpha. Now. Moving on to beta tests, what were the characteristics of beta testing? Now, beta, beta testing, sometimes I use interchangeably with user acceptance testing. Uh, this is a stage where companies generally open up uh, and do testing at scale. So they open up, uh, especially multiplayer games, they open up testing to users that are outside of the company. Now, all of this, when I'm talking about games, I'm referring to multiplayer games. AAA and other, or games that are more I guess because single player games are almost never opened up for alphas or betas. You generally get them when the game is done and that's it. Uh, but for these multiplayer games, beta tests are generally where people come in and go through. Now, by this point, the major systems should be locked down at this point. And really what you're beta testing in, uh, you know, as, as far as a game goes, is you're expected to go through and, you know, fi figure out, you know, bugs, not major bugs, but the minor bugs. If you find major bugs, good but those should have been fixed by this point. You should, minor bugs, polish is a big thing, balance is another big thing. There are you know, key things on how the game actually works now that the systems have been set that you wanna go through and do. Um, now, Intrepid has stated that they're doing this a slightly different. A majority of what you would consider in the beta are actually even happening within the alpha. So their alpha process, they've got like an alpha one, two, three, or something like that is going to extend a much longer time, whereas their beta is really just going to be a polish phase and will be a much shorter time at that. They've outwardly said that multiple times. So expect a lot of what, what I'm saying to be located within the alpha, right? 
Um, yeah, so, you know, in, in the beta, you're, you're hammering out systems at scale, you're, you know, doing reliability, security, uh, balance type things, you know, they're typically uh, multiplayer or, sorry, yeah. Um, and then finally, you kind of want to get the performance down in the beta as well, too. This is your last chance as a company to do that. And so, you know, it's got to run optimally on systems. It's got to, uh, the network connection has to be down at this point. And things of that nature. So that's generally the difference between the two, the alpha and the beta test. So when you're just looking at them overall and comparing, and a lot of Easter MMOs do this, they'll give you an alpha and it, it, it really is a finished product, and, but that's not the case here. And that's not the case in most games. This is not a finished product. This is a really raw product. And this is, uh, there are a lot of things that still need to be developed and done. So let me give you guys five tips that I really would like to see from the community and have the community do as they enter in to the alpha testing. Now, I'm part of the Phoenix Initiative uh, for Ashes of Creation. So uh, based on their timing, I think we should be in sometime this month and testing items. But these are five things that I really hope that we do and my five suggestions from me, if you will. So the first one, expect change, right? Do not go into alpha thinking that things aren't going to change and you're happy with one thing. It's, it's good to uh, voice, you know, your opinions on it, but don't think that this is what's going to stay the same, right? I think a lot of people who play the new world alpha went into there with that expectation as far as PVP goes, even with some past things they said, not understanding that things can change on a whim like that based on the data that they're getting from testing, right? And that's that's purely up to them. So within this alpha, expect things to change. This is not a finished product. So, you know, treat it as such. Two, focus on breaking the system, right? Uh, this is really where you can really impact and make this the best MMO we can possibly get, right? It's by attempting to break, try and exploit. Try and do your best to game the system. Try and do your best to cheat the system. Play normally, play weirdly, play any different way that you can type or feel. The goal is to really put the system to the test and see if it can stand up to the scrutiny. Because if you don't, other people eventually will. And if it's something that's overlooked, that, that decreases the fidelity of the game overall. So it's in your best interest to break it as much as you possibly can and really hardcore come in it as a test. The third point is piggybacking off of that, and that's file bug reports, right? Filing bug reports in this regards is especially important, right? Now, I want to put something out there, right? Um, you, filing bug reports is really, uh, no matter how small, no matter how big you think it is, doesn't matter, put it down, file it away. They can always, you know, either get rid of or classify bugs under the same type of bug. Uh, and it also helps them when they see multiple people filing bugs over a particular issue, they know that it's hitting a large part of the population. So there are benefits doing. So even if you see an existing bug, find some way to either plus one that bug or to submit your own query, right? Four, file feedback, right? There are some things that are bugs, but there are some things that are not bugs that you just feel about the game. File feedback. Tell the developers what you think about a particular system, bug, or issue, or even, not, it doesn't even have to be a bug, but just, uh, you know, how something works or how some, you wish something would work. Feedback is always helpful within this phase, and it's your chance to kind of get something, you know, either in or out, right? And then finally, the fifth, be patient, right? Again, this is an alpha test. And when I say alpha test, I literally mean it. There could be some days where you go in and you log on and there's a targeted test and you're attempting to go through and you don't actually get to test anything because something broke and the devs are actively fixing it and you're sitting there waiting. That's going to happen. This is an alpha. You got to be patient, right? Um, you know, you even when submitting things like bug reports, you may not hear anything back because they're busy you know, either coding, addressing an issue, or they're just busy in general, and you may not hear anything, but don't let that discourage you from participating in it. So go in it with these wide open eyes, and I think we'll all be better for it by getting a better game. Anyways, if you have any questions whatsoever on, you know, alpha, beta, this topic, or any comments, feel free, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them or discuss with you on that, on that matter. All right. Thank you guys. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. Alpha Soul out.